This past season, Plattsburgh High School introduced girls hockey, adding another team to the section. But hockey's been part of northern New York for some time now. The cross hasn't. But a new program is hoping that modified team will be able to help fill that void. While high school teams in Vermont have been winning lacrosse championships for years, schools in northern New York haven't had the same opportunities. But Scott Dublanek is trying to help change that. Being from downstate, where lacrosse is big, I figured let's introduce it. Because uh, Plattsburgh was the only area in probably all of New York State that doesn't have lacrosse. Scott started the Plattsburgh Lacrosse Club four years ago and has seen growth every year. We've doubled from the first year to second year to third year to the fourth year. We're going to be pushing 100 kids this year up from 10 to first year four years ago. I didn't really know about it, but then I just like kind of signed up. Then I loved it from there and just started going every day and practicing off. Me and my dad had talked about maybe starting up a program. When I was like four years old, he brought in lacrosse sticks for me and my sister, and we always used to throw around. When he said that we were starting a program, I just got really excited. And while this is a platform based program, they also have athletes from Peru, Beekmantown, Saranac, and even Seton to hopefully create some rivalries, maybe at the varsity level, in the not too distant future. I'd love to see that. I just want to see like everyone going against each other in like a friendly game. Yeah, that'd be really fun someday to probably maybe do that. Start a little rivalry? Yep. Yeah. And hopefully it's the programs like this one that will help expand athletics for the entire section. Now, while the program's numbers have been increasing over the years, there's always room for more athletes. If you have any interest, you can go to www.plattsburghlacrosseclub.com.